welcome back so in today's tutorial uh, we'll be looking into some of the tips and tricks which a lot of you must be aware and a lot of you must not be aware about okay so these tips and tricks are with respect to the script field you must have seen script 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 field everywhere right on business rules transcript and other things so we'll be looking something which i find fascinating okay probably you will also find it the same way so i will just go to all and I will go to the fix script. Okay, why fix script? Easiest way to go to, and I will click a new. And whenever you go to the any any of this kind of component like fix script, business rule, client script, so you will see the script component right over here. This, and you start typing your code, whatever you want over here. But you don't know some of the features. Okay, hidden features you can say or hidden shortcuts. Okay which i will be showing today so you must be knowing how to macros you have macros so you know where it's gar will give you implied record uh, if you do the tab okay but if you see there is on the on the syntax there are a couple of things right the first and the foremost thing is like uh, this is for syntax highlighting okay okay or formatting the text for example you have crippled your text uh, you have not formatted your text well okay your script well then you can simply click over here and it will format your code or the shortcut for that is like you can simply do control tab and it will format the code i'll be showing it then we have format code okay uh, this is syntax checker sorry this is a format code then we have replace replace all and all those kind of things find something this step is easy. but there is something called this help and a lot of people must be thinking this help is like it will lead to some document and it will explain what exactly the script field is doing. But it is doing more than that. So it, sh it doesn't give anything. It shows Control H. Click Control H. And just try to click Control H. And this editor key maps comes up. I'm not sure whether you have tried it any time or not. And this shows couple of pretty cool features with respect to script field. Like if you want to toggle the screen to the full screen okay so you can have control m okay so we'll try a couple of them okay so if you want to toggle to the full screen i am over here if i do control m it will toggle to the full screen if i come back to then you can simply type control m if you want to start searching something out so you can do control m if you want to find next okay so it's control g okay there is nothing search okay so that's why if you find previous then it's control shift p i think control shift g I, i'm not sure. then for replace okay it's control e okay you can replace it out you can and a lot of things okay scripting assistance if you want so you must be knowing if we have variable gr equal to new glide and if you do control space then it gives it gives all kind of definition okay so i will give glide date time if you do control j okay so it will give the definition of that particular function so if i click on this on control j so it gives what exactly this function is doing okay and you just try you just get the information okay what exactly it's doing and all pretty fascinating right We'll go again back with Control H, and as you can see for macros, so you must be familiar with a couple of macros, but you can see macros type help and hit tab to view the list of macros. Uh -huh. Isn't it fascinating? We've missed this kind of small things. So if I go over here, okay, and if I do help and tab, so this. It gives list of all the syntax macros which are present on the instance. So we have doc, okay, which will be like if I do doc tab, so it will create a you know, documentation JS doc format for us. Okay, if we do for tab, it will create a for loop. If we do var gr or, so it will be creating an example with an or query. Okay, in the similar way, info I use a lot. A lot so if I give info tab it will give 
add info message to us whenever you are writing script include right so you have to create a methods in the script include so if you do method this is also pretty useful for me method and if you give tab so it will create a description as well as the function signature for you and you can simply start my order and then you can start writing whatever function you want to do okay and here you have if you want to format it out this is not looking good if you want to format it out you have to simply do control a shift and tab and it will format your code in the desired way isn't it amazing i found it pretty useful that's why i'm sharing it with you okay hope you like this tutorial out okay this was a quick tip and trick kind of session okay if you like this out please drop a comment and probably i will create some more some of my personal favorite shortcuts which i use in my day to day life till then stay safe stay happy and have a nice day thank you